The clades monocots and eudicots make up almost 98% of all angiosperms. There are numerous differences between monocots and eudicots and I will go over some of them in this video. Note, there are exceptions to many features used to distinguish between monocots and eudicots and that is why I use the terms usually, mostly, and generally throughout this video. Also keep in mind that about 2.1% of angiosperm plants do not fit into the monocot or eudicot clades. Flowers Flowers are the reproductive structure of angiosperms. Flowers are a collection of organs, including sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. Stamens are the male parts of a flower and they include the anther and filament. Pistils are the female parts of a flower and they include the stigma, style, and ovary. Flower part multiples. The flower parts of monocots usually occur in threes or multiples of three. The flower parts of eudicots usually occur in fours or fives or multiples of four or five. Sepals and tepals. Sepals are the lowermost or outermost whorl part of the flower. They cover and protect the flower parts in the bud. They are usually leaf-like in appearance and often green. When you can't differentiate between the sepals and petals because they look similar, then they are called tepals. For example, the bottom three whorl are the sepals. The top three whorl are the petals, but since they all look alike, they are all tepals. Monocot flowers usually have tepals. And eudicot flowers usually have distinct petals and sepals. Pollen Pollen grains are produced in the male reproductive part of the flower called the anther. Pollen apertures An aperture on a pollen grain is an area of weakness or gap where the pollen tube exits through the pollen grain wall. Apertures are variable and they generally exist as a furrow, groove, or pore. The shape of the pollen grain and the number, pattern, and arrangement of apertures are distinct between plant species. Most monocots have pollen with a single aperture. And most eudicots have pollen with three apertures. Seeds An angiosperm seed is the reproductive plant body. After fertilization, the ovule located within the ovary develops into a seed. The seed contains a multicellular, well-developed plant embryo, surrounded by a food supply and wrapped in a seed coat. Endosperm the food supply within a seed is called endosperm. It nourishes the plant embryo. Endosperm is usually present in monocot mature seeds. And endosperm is usually absent in eudicot mature seeds, having been used for growth and development of the plant embryo. Cotyledons A cotyledon is an embryonic leaf located within a seed, however, they are not true leaves. Monocot seeds usually have a single cotyledon in their seed. And eudicot seeds usually have two cotyledons in their seed. Leaves. The main job of leaves is to perform photosynthesis. 
Leaf Shape and Size Monocot leaves are usually long, narrow, and blade-like. Think of blades of grass. And Uticot leaves are variable in shape and size, but are generally broader than monocot leaves. Leaf V Nation Most monocot leaves have parallel venation, so the leaf veins run parallel to one another and do not cross each other or overlap. Uticot leaves generally have netted or branched venation. Leaf margins Monocot leaves usually have smooth margins along the entire leaf edge. Uticot leaves have a variety of leaf margins. Leaf base sheath and petiole. Monocot leaves generally have a sheath that wraps around the stem. Uticot leaves usually have a petiole which is a stalk that attaches the leaf blade to the stem. Leaf colors The upper and lower surfaces of monocot leaves are generally the same color. The upper surface of uticot leaves is usually darker green than the lower surface. Stomata Stomata are pores located in the epidermis of plants that aids in gas exchange. They are flanked by two guard cells. Monocot leaves generally have an equal distribution of stomata on both sides of leaves and their guard cells are dumbbell-shaped. Uticot leaves either have more stomata on the lower surface of leaves compared to the upper surface or they have stomata only on the lower surface of leaves and their guard cells are bean-shaped. Stems Stems support the plant including leaves, flowers, and fruit. Vascular bundles Within the roots, stems, and leaves, bundles of vascular tissue, consisting of xylem and phloem, transport water, nutrients, food, and other chemicals between the different parts of the plant. Monocots generally have a complex arrangement of scattered vascular bundles of xylem and phloem dispersed throughout the stem and leaf vascular system. Uticots usually have their vascular bundles, which include a layer of cambium in between the xylem and phloem, arranged in a ring or concentric circle around a central pith. Roots Root systems The root system of a plant is generally below ground. Roots anchor the plant in the ground and absorb water, nutrients, and minerals. There are generally two main root systems. Fibrous and taproot systems. Plants with a fibrous root system have several roots that are usually similar in size, length, and thickness that develop from the end of the stem or nodes of the stem. These roots are usually found near the upper soil level. Plants with a taproot system have one primary root that buries deep in the soil and has many smaller branch roots coming out of it. Monocots usually have a fibrous root system. There is no main root. Uticots usually have a taproot system. Vascular bundles In monocot roots, phloem and xylem are located in separate patches arranged in a circle around a central pith. In uticot roots, the pith is absent, and xylem is in the center in the shape of an X with patches of phloem in between the arms. Growth types 
As plant cells divide and elongate, the plant grows. Two kinds of growth occur in plants. Primary growth is an increase in the length of a plant, typically at the tips of the stems and roots. All plants have primary growth. Plants that only experience primary growth are often called herbaceous. Many of them are annuals and some are biennials. Secondary growth is an increase in girth or width of a plant, so a thickening of roots and stems. Plants that experience secondary growth are often called woody and they are often perennial. Most monocots usually lack true secondary growth because they have no vascular cambium in their stems. They cannot grow true wood. Eudicots can experience secondary growth because they have vascular cambium in their stems. They can grow true wood. This concludes the general overview of the differences between monocots and eudicots. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.